is just like me. We gotta get out of here. Now! I, I can't leave her behind. I've got to save her. What? Save the beast that's been trying to kill us? Yeah, that wasn't her fault. She was being used by the Dark Master. Now we can go. Some night, huh? Beautiful. What is it you want, Sparks? Huh. <laughs> Why do I have to want something? I'm just ready to begin the best day ever now that the evil psycho She-Dragon is gone. What? Cinder? What do you mean, Sparks? Whoa, calm down, big fella. Gosh, you're awfully tense. Hmm, haven't been sleeping much? You should listen to Voltaire tell one of his stories. That'll put anyone to sleep. Sparks, what happened? Okay, you ready? I got up to get some fresh air. Since I don't sleep much myself these days with uh, the female of fright hanging about, lo and behold, there she was, sneaking out into the garden. <sighs> she gives me the creeps, dude. Hear my teeth? Well, come on, we have to find her. It's dangerous for her to be outside the temple at night. It's dangerous for any of us to be outside at night. Besides, Ignitus said you have to wait till your powers return. Because you're weak. No time to argue. Come on. Uh, <clears throat> you'd be helpless without me. <clears throat> I'd better come with you. And wake them. What? I can't hear you over all this snoring. Yes, of course, I'm on a sister. You're the truth. <laughs> oh, my Cinder, what are you doing out here? It's dangerous. You shouldn't have followed me, Spyro. That's good enough for me. Let's go. See ya. <laughs> Please, don't make this harder for me than it already is. I'm just trying to understand. I'm leaving, Spyro. I don't belong here. After all I've done, all I've put you through, I can't stay. Cinder, nobody blames you for what happened. Huh, I do. Speak for yourself. Sparks. No, Sparks is right. And every day that goes by, I'm reminded of it. Spyro, your place is here. Your destiny is here. But mine is somewhere out there for me to find. Cinder, I don't want you to go. Goodbye, Spyro. Now, can we finally get some sleep around here? I've been only sort of half sleeping with one eye open for weeks now. Alternating eyes, of course. It lessens the strain, but I tell you, it's taken a toll. Hey, was this Twitch always there? Spyro, you okay, buddy? Hey, I want to sleep too, but I didn't mean now. Let's at least get inside. It's, it's dark out, man, and I don't like it. Hello? Anyone home? Yoo-hoo!
Hello? Is anyone there? Do not be frightened, young dragon. You are not alone. Who are you? What is this place? I have summoned you here so that you might be warned. The celestial moons are counting down, and time is running out. How did that happen? The purple dragon can wield many abilities that others cannot, including time itself. Learn to master this ability, and you will be able to see things almost before they happen. But use this gift sparingly, only when circumstances demand. Manipulation of time is not to be done without the uttermost care. seem to have abandoned your true calling. It is your destiny to harness the powers of the elements, yet you possess not. I haven't been able to use my abilities for some time now. Yes. Right now, your powers lay dormant within you. Let's see if we might not awaken them. Clear your mind. Spyro, and feel the fire that flows through your veins. Allow its heat to consume you, and breathe with it. Now rise up, and release the firestorm within you. Excellent, Spyro! You're a natural. But now that a primal fire rages inside you, show me you have command of it. done well. And now, it is time for you to return. But be careful, Spyro. The enemy approaches. Wait! You still haven't told me who you are. You shall know me as the Chronicler. Seek me Something is happening, Sparks. I can't explain it. No kidding. While you were catatonic, this whole place has been hooting and howling. Listen. What is that? What's happening? is under attack. The others are still sleeping. We need to get back. Are you crazy? Do you want to run towards the danger? We're going to have to find another way in. Come on. Ugh. I liked you better when you were sleeping. The purple dragon. Ugly ape guy. <laughs> now that we've exchanged pleasantries, can we fight? <laughs> well, this huge can fight now, watch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get down here, young dragon. We need your help. This one, fella. This one? How is that different than the last one? Or the one before that? Prepare to die! Huh? I said something about preparing to die. The battery wants you to prepare a pie. Yeah. No. Yeah. You haven't seen the last of me! I'm just going to assume you said it was great meeting you, and have a nice day, in which case we thank you. Is everyone all right? Where's Cinder? See anything, Ignitus? No. I can't see where Cinder has gone. Just darkness. Wait, Cinder, darkness, aren't they the same thing? What's this? Something is coming into focus. This is peculiar. I see you at the base of a great tree, amidst a lake of mist and gloom. A tree? I've seen that tree, in my dreams. Only, they usually feel more like nightmares. Young dragon, you've been keeping secrets. What is it you see in these dreams of yours? I'm sorry, Ignitus. I thought they would go away, but they only get worse. Relax, Spyro. Think. I, I keep seeing a mountain draped in shadow, a face of stone beneath two moons, and darkness. The Mountain of Malifor. Whoa! Am I the only one that thought that was weird? There was another, but it was more like I was seeing into the past and the future all at once. And there was a voice, calling himself the Chronicler. That's when I saw the tree. Impossible. Uh, yeah, no kidding. There isn't even a storm. The Chronicler? What? Don't encourage him. I don't believe it either. I've not heard that name in ages. Nor has anyone. Well, there is no way that Spyro could have known. This is fascinating. Well, who is the Chronicler? The Chronicler is an ancient dragon of immeasurable wisdom. 
though I've only heard stories. In fact, I've had my doubts as to the legitimacy of the tales. Yet now, I am left to wonder. As are we all. But if it is true, it is unsettling that the re-emergence of the Chronicler would coincide with an attack on the temple. Not to mention these other visions that Spyro was having. Yes, very. Tales of the Chronicler are often interwoven with tales of doom. Oh, goody! I was afraid we might have to spend the rest of the night without any more doom. It was only a matter of time, Ignitus. We've all felt it. A great evil is on the horizon. Perhaps. But we mustn't rush to judgment. This evening has brought about many unexplained things. We may not have time, Ignitus. The celestial moons are almost at an eclipse. This we know for certain. We must prepare for the worst. The night of eternal darkness draws nigh. If nigh means soon, I'm out of here. Your instincts, though faint of heart, are true. We are no longer safe here. This recent attack is likely the first of many. The forces of the Ape King know of Spyro's existence and will not rest until they witness his demise. Demise. <laughs> Hate to be you. What? You guys need to lighten up. I'm afraid Terador is right. As uncertain as things are, none of us can remain idle and watch our worst fears unfold before us. Exactly. We need a good hiding place. Voltaire, you and Cyril must go to the mainland to learn what news you can. Terador, Make haste to the Shattered Vale and warn the inhabitants of that region that darkness is spreading in Malifor. I shall stay back and search for Cinder. These are dangerous times for a dragon to be wandering about. May our ancestors look after us and keep us safe in these dark times. What should I do, Ignitus? Young dragon, you must travel by another path and seek out the tree from your dream. If the stories of the Chronicler are true, there may be hope for us yet. And I think I know where to begin. There is an ancient grove within the forest at the end of the Silver River. It is a secret place untouched by civilization. The waters there are poisonous as well as the creatures who are notified, but you shouldn't encounter any real danger. Trust your instincts. I shall be waiting for you here at the temple when your task is complete. Oh, yes, Loverly. He always sends us to the nicest places. Come on, Sparks. It's not that bad. Well, sure. If you ignore all the evil beasts and visions of doom and eternal darkness, which sounds lovely, by the way. Oh, and the fact that we now get to frolic through the magical, creepy forest in search of some stupid tree. What's not to love? You're psyched. Let's go. What are we doing here? I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. I think we're lost. Hey, have you tried these yet? Hmm, they're delish. Mmm, come on, try some. Sparks, don't eat that. You don't even know what it is. Nonsense, they're perfectly edible. All right, maggots. Time to spread out. Don't bother snaring anything smaller than a scurvy wing. Scab only wants prize fighters this time. And double the bounty for the one who captures Arboric. Hey, this isn't right. 
Ignitus said this place was uninhabited. But we must have taken a wrong turn. All those in favor of turning back? Hey! Came from over there. Go see what it is. Oh. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> So, uh, how is everyone today? <laughs> Little bug isn't much bigger than a bug rat. Hey, who are you calling a bug, you crazy-eyed mangy drool mutt? Uh-oh. <laughs> of the ancestors are with you, you are never lost. Calm yourself, Spyro, and cool your thoughts. Do not let your fire control you. There are other elements at play here. The power of ice also moves through you, just as the chilled winds whip through your wings. Let it expand. I knew you'd remember. Life seeks out balance, young dragon. And one who can master fire and ice is truly powerful in the shifting face of danger. Okay, now what? What is it you want me to do? I think I'm entitled to know what's happening. You already know what is happening. Of the great evil that is awakening. But there is more that you must understand. I've seen this place before. It frightens me. This is an evil place, Spyro. It is called the Mountain of Malifor, asylum to the wandering phantoms and lost spirits of those who had turned to darkness, but to the spirits themselves and the black-hearted. It goes by another name. The Well of Souls. Where are you? Uh, Spyro, I'm out of shape. What have we here? Our first catch of the day. Is that your dumb tree? It's beautiful. Where we go now? This feels like the right place, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Wonderful. I'm gonna go wait over there. You know, I'll give you a few minutes. Well, maybe there was a lily pad you forgot to sing on, or a rainbow you can talk to.
Hello? I'm here. Give me a sign or something. My turn to pass out. You're on your own, buddy. Oh, brother. Killed it. We came all this way so you could kill it? Spyro, I am the mighty tree calling you from across the void. Journey hither and vanquish me. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Wait, you don't suppose that was the chronicler? Alas. The purple dragon has been wandering lost in the ancient grove. You've been quite a nuisance to us. Whoa, what's with the gurgling nitwit? If I were you, I'd shut my mouth. I ain't gonna say it again. Sparks, maybe you should stay out of this one. Yes, mind yourself. To answer your earlier question, no, that isn't the Chronicler, whoever that is. That was Arboric. And it was going to be the main attraction in our tournament. And now it's ruined. Gosh, I really feel bad about that. Oh, really, no need for remorse. You'll do just fine. What does he mean by that? Coming for to carry me home. Sparks, must you do that? Well, maybe I do must I do that. And you know, it might be just crazy enough to work. Come on, Spyro. Put that sorrow behind you and clap your hands with me. Let the joy come pouring down. Rain on me. And you. <laughs> Can't you feel it? <laughs> Can't you just feel the love in the room tonight? <laughs> Moliere! Sparrow? Is that really your friend? It's me. Where are we? Can you get us out? You are on Scab's ship. We luckily have been made to compete in the arena fights like the other prisoners. I too am prisoner here, as are many of my kinsmen. But we moles are too frail to make for worthwhile entertainment, so we are made to serve grog to the scavengers. Moliere, you have to get us out. Shh! We talk later. I trust your living quarters if you like him. I don't know. My roommate could be more fun, though. Well, I thought I told you to be quiet, fool. And you, get ready to fight. It's hurting time, baby. I really, I mean more than really, I hate those birds. Fins <laughs> a 
and felons, scoundrels and swindlers, welcome to the first event of the evening. Tonight we bring to you a very special battle, sure to quench your thirst for brutality. Let's bring on the pain. Introducing a creature both rare and powerful. A creature of might and magic. Prepare yourselves and feast your eyes on Spyro the Dragon! Wow, if you weren't about to die, I'd say this is pretty neat. Please don't drag it! You must be wealthy! I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, oh, that's the butterflies in your stomach. <laughs> Trust me, I know. And his opponent, you've seen them before, and loved them. We offer you none other than the twins of terror themselves, the Blundertails! Great crowd, huh? I wonder if I can get him to do the wave. Well done. Well done indeed. Step forward, little dragon, and we'll see your glory. You waiting for something to move for you, Mark? Don't just stand there! This ain't no puppet show! No, not again. <laughs> Don't worry. There's nothing to see here. It's all under control. And allow me to entertain you with the healing power of love while we wait. Um, um, uh, swing low. I don't hear you. Come on. Swing low. Sweet. What's the matter with you all? You stink. You've come far, young dragon. What? Ignitus said you would help. But you've only led me on a path to nowhere. Our path through life is not always the path we choose. Sometimes our paths are chosen for us, and it is our destiny to follow it, wherever it may lead. Be steady, Spyro. And use the power of the earth to feel your way. Power of earth and nature is a mighty one. As the earth moves, so does everything in it. Be mindful as you wield it. I want to know what is happening. I've done what you've asked of me and followed your path. Yes, but a time will come when you will have to choose your own path. You are not ready. Open your eyes. Why are they going towards it? It is their calling. The black-hearted creatures of this world cannot resist its temptation. The well of souls beckons them as the night of eternal darkness approaches. What is the night of eternal darkness? It is the night when the celestial moons come together in a great eclipse. It shrouds our world in darkness. The Well of Souls is the pinnacle of its terrible shadow, stirring the spirits of the deceased from their eternal rest and permitting them to roam freely within the halls of the mountain, if only for a short while. And soon, the night of eternal darkness will be upon us. Find me in the celestial caves of the White Isle. Get up, lazy fool! It's time to bruise, not time to snooze! I, you know, I, I can't even 
even look at you. You disgust me. Hey, you and me both, Pally. Don't touch me! Are you ready for more? Then, without further ado, please give a hearty welcome to... Spyro the Dragon! And his opponent, needing little introduction... The one and only Rabbit Rider! We totally rule. Maybe now we can ask for a room upgrade. Can we at least order some room service? Sparks, we need to get out of here. Something terrible is going to happen. I know. If I don't get some food, I am gonna freak out. I got it! Why don't you shoot some sparkly magic out of your face and blow the gate up? Sparrow, you are in danger. I have a message for you from another prisoner. Here, take it. Yahoo! Fan mail! Dear friend, there are whispers going about the ship. Word of your captivity has traveled quickly. Many of the prisoners are uneasy. They say that the Ape King himself has placed a bounty on you, and all of the dragons. These are dark times, but know this, you have allies. I look forward to the day when we can meet Hunter of Avalon. That was thoughtful. I particularly like the part about the dark times and the danger. It's showtime. Guests of the arena, we have exciting news for you regarding one of our combatants. Shall we bring him out? There is a rumor about that this little purple dragon may be of great importance. What say you, dragon? What greatness can you offer? You're the thing great you be so on his great aim! Bring out the executioner! defeated everything we've thrown at him. <laughs> but we're not your people fans. Tonight, we have a special bonus match. Cool, a bonus match. Spyro the Dragon versus the former Queen of Conquer herself, Cinder! She was evil. <laughs> Look, my eyes twitching again. Just like old times, huh, Spyro? Cinder, I'm not going to fight you. Relax. I'm just trying to put on a show for the crowd while we figure out what to do. Don't trust her. She wants to eat me. Well, what's happening? <laughs> I want out! I want in! I want in! Get away from me! Help! Fender! Spiral, this way! There's an opening! I think things just got more complicated. Good. I was afraid that escaping the burning ship would be too easy. Moliere, the ship's under attack. We have to get off this thing. <laughs> Sparrow, please! My companions are still being held prisoner and the chamber gates are locked! We'll need to find a way to open them. 
Okay, sit tight. I'll come back for you. Okay, Mornier, you're safe. Get far away from me. Merci, mon frère. Thank you very much. I hope we can meet again. Perhaps under better circumstances? Good luck, Mornier. They just gave me an idea. Why don't we get off the burning boat? Not yet. We need a map to a place called the White Isle, and I think I know where we can find it. You know I hate you, right? Whoa. Look at all this stuff. Oh, sure. Take your time. It's not like we're about to plummet to our deaths in a heap of flaming... All right. We made your time. Let's find the map. One step ahead of you, buddy. We hope you were thinking of you. Yeah, we got a score of little chump. Hey, who are you calling chump? You, fool! You! It's astounding the amount of trouble you've managed to call. You've only brought it on yourself. You gonna let him talk you that way, doodle brain? <laughs> Shut up, fool! Fire the cannon! This is where we part ways. So now I'm chill. What the? How is that even possible? You can't just let them get away. We're going after them, right? Wait, did I just say that out loud? Then you don't know us very well. I quit all the time. Sorry. I thought that was gonna sound cooler. get a very long look at the map, but there's got to be some sort of landmark. Sure. I'll just keep my eyes peeled for the flashing sign that says Spooky Moon Temple. <sighs> oh no. Please tell me you're just pulling over to go to the bathroom. is born of the sky and its tempers, young dragon. You must learn to control your own emotions if you are to tame the free spirit of electricity. Surrender to its erratic nature. 
Allow its energy to charge through your body and anticipate its movement. Then unleash it. Okay, I've completed your test. What do I do next? How can I find you? Are you there? Great. Now the voice inside my head is ignoring me. Maybe I'll just take a peek. such a faithful servant, I'm sure he'll take you back. And if not, you'll have the honor of being the first to perish by his hand. Long have we waited, long have we suffered, but soon our master will return, and his coming shall bring forth a new age of power for the apes, and we shall have our revenge. Goodbye, freaky little turtle monster. Goodbye, goodbye. Thanks for everything. What happened? Well, let's see. You've been hearing voices in your head and have led us all over the place, which has been great because we're having so much fun. And now we're stranded on an enchanted island and I just can't wait to see what happens next. Wait, I think we're here. Oh, goody. Sacred threshold, hollow ground. Hadley's in full, lost is found. Prove your worth with quick desire. Ice and earth, electric fire. Now I'm hearing voices. What does that mean? How would I know? Wait, I'm having a thought. Nope, nope. Yeah, nope, never mind. I lost. I got nothing. We must have missed something. Come on, let's look around. Hold on. I think we found it. Hello? Is anyone there? Hey, if there is, could we, you know, not wake it up? Because everything we've met so far has tried to kill us. Expose your heart to summon ghosts. Then face alone what you fear most. I knew it! This place wants us dead. We should have turned back while we had a chance. I need to do this, Sparks. Yeah? Go ahead. Expose your heart and see what happens. Wait, don't do it! You can't leave me behind in the wacky moon temple with all the whispering walls and the crawly thingies! They want to make me part of their freak show! What's this? I think it's a 
a magic wishing lamp. Hello? Genie? You in there? This is incredible. The entire history of the dragon race. It looks like it's all here. It is. Well, most of it. Did you hear that? It spoke to me! The records in this hall date back to the beginning of time. Nearly. The Chronicler! Yes, Spyro. It is I. And I've been waiting for you. Oh, well, I hope we didn't keep you waiting too long. We got a little held up back there with the, uh, well, you know. Riddles of Doom! It was a necessary evil. I had to be sure, Spyro. I haven't had any visitors in my solitude for over a thousand years. Shocker! Try getting rid of the psychedelic dragon outside! You've been here for that long? Oh, yes. But I have my books. And I watch and wait and listen for things to come and then add them to the books of time. You are also written in the books, though many pages are still left incomplete. I am? Can I see? Of course you can. This one is yours. Look. You've seen this hideous creature before. Why is he in my book? It was Gaul who led the raid on the temple the night of your birth, when Ignitus rescued your egg. And when they took cinders. Yes. That was most unfortunate. Oh, and look, here is little Sparks. Hey, 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 nobody needs to see that, ever. Wait, can these books tell the future? In parts, though, just glimpses of the future, really. Then I want to know what will happen to Cinder. Spyro, you don't know. Please! I must know. <sighs> Very well. But hers is a darker tale. Spyro, you must understand when she was taken by Gaul, she was poisoned and corrupted, made to do the Dark Master's bidding. Her entire life has been spent in shadow. She knows no other way. And when the Dark Master returns, she will concede. No one can resist the temptation. Not even the strongest among us. I don't believe that. Spyro, let me tell you another story. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Can I pick the story this time? <laughs> there was once a dragon, long ago, whose raw power was far greater than anyone had ever seen or could imagine. At first, he mastered fire. Which was odd, because he was not a fire dragon. Then came ice and wind and other abilities none thought possible. Is this story sounding familiar? It was a purple dragon. Like me. The first purple dragon. In the beginning he was encouraged, and secrets of elemental mastery were passed unto him willingly by the elders. But his power was limitless. It knew no boundary. He consumed everything. When he would not stop, he was cast into exile. And from his new fortress within the mountain, he built an armor, not of dragons, but of apes, and taught them to artificially harness the power of the gems, our life force. You're talking about the Dark Master? Yes. And in his dark seclusion, the sheer weight of his malice cracked the very foundation of the mountain, splitting the earth, creating a pit of despair where the lost souls of this world could reside. The Well of Souls. Created by the very beast who now seeks to escape it. But, but you said that the Eclipse would only allow the spirits to escape for a short while. Yes, but if there was ever a spirit powerful enough... Then how do we stop it? There is no stopping it. It has been written. Then why have you called us here? I don't understand. To ride out this storm, where you'll be safe. Live to fight another day. 
Well, that sounds pretty good. What about the others? What about their safety? I fear the worst for the others. And Cinder? Am I supposed to sit here and do nothing while she joins them? Uh, let me field this one. Yes! No. You keep talking about choosing a path. But what about Cinder? She was never given a choice. I have to try. I'm going and you can't stop me. Then... I won't. Young dragon, I've waited far too long to watch you leave here stricken with grief and doubt. You'll need a clear mind and a pure heart if you are to withstand the evil that consumes that place. I know this is not the path you would choose for me, but I have to walk my own path and do what I know is right. So be it, Sparrow. I will show you the way, but you must hurry. The dark hour of the eclipse is near, and haste will be your only ally. All right, then. Well, uh, just so I know why I died, the plan is to wander into the land of darkness to face an army of evil creatures that will want to kill us so we can try to rescue another evil creature that has already tried to kill us? I'm pumped. Let's, let's do this. Sparks, you don't need to come with me. I won't think less of you if you stay behind. No way! And miss the opportunity to live out my worst nightmares? Yeah, boy. What am I saying? What is this? It looks like the entrance to a horrible pit of despair, of which we will probably never escape. But we should probably go inside to be sure. Whoa! He's so weird. Where are we? The better question is, what's that smell? Dragon, you are no match. 
I've made it this far, haven't I? Yes. You have been quite elusive. Had I but known that all it would take would be your miserable amity for Cinder. <laughs> What's amity? How tragic, really. That she should be the one to destroy you. Ah! The nightmare never ends! You don't need to do this, Cinder. Just like old times, huh, Spyro? Same as last time. Line me up with the staff. This isn't over. <clears throat> What have I done? You're okay, Spyro. You're with friends. I'm sorry. I I couldn't stop. Uh oh, that's our only way out. Come on, now's our chance. Just go. Get up, Spyro. We're not leaving without you. Usually, I would say ignore. Her. She's making sense this time. Ride out this storm and live to fight another day. Get close to me now.
Young dragon, all our hope now lies with you. When you wake up, it will be a different world. But know this, you are not alone. You have allies. <laughs>